Despite the recent headway that my country has gained economically and despite our efforts to ensure that such gains are inclusive, many of my people remain vulnerable to disaster brought about by climate change. The rise of water levels in the loss of islands and the growing frequency and intensity of typhoons present a real challenge to every country, especially those in the developing world such as ours. Excellency, the time of debate of whether climate change is real or not is full. There is no doubt that it exists, which is the reason we are all here. It would be wrong, however, to engage in another protracted debate over the individual commitments of countries. To my mind, that would be adopting the wrong framework. Instead, everyone here has to do everything they can to address climate change without first waiting for their neighbors to engage in action. Doing anything less leaves the problem unattended to, thereby increasing the problem we all face. The Philippines is not waiting. We are addressing climate change the maximum with our limited resources. Legislation has been enacted to lessen the impact of disasters by adopting a comprehensive approach to disaster response. We have empowered our forecasting agencies so that they can give timely warnings to vulnerable communities for national and local authorities and residents. We have undertaken multi-hazard and geo-hazard mapping, which is integral to the effective assessment of risk. We have undertaken a massive national re-greening program on top of an intensified anti-illegal logging campaign. We are tagging public expenditure on climate change to ensure that the appropriate prioritization and allocation of funds is achieved. My country has likewise engaged other stakeholders in developing a disaster risk financing and insurance policy framework that can reduce the impact of disasters on the poorest and most vulnerable Philippines. Perhaps the international community may see the value of such an instrument and look at it as a model to increase the financial resiliency of other nations in a similar situation to ours. As early as 2008, we have passed a Renewable Energy Act and we are now threading a climate smart development pathway. We continue to take steps to maintain and even improve our low emission development strategy and the trajectory of our energy mix. And we are hopeful that our fellow developing nations, especially those who have been gaining the economic wherewithal to pursue similar strategies, will tread the path akin to ours. It would not be an exaggeration to say that Filipinos bear a disproportionate amount of the burden when it comes to climate change. Being less industrialized, we are not a major emitter. Still, even while we work on the fulfillment of our full development potential that remains on the horizon, we see opportunities born of more environmentally progressive policies. We have never lacked to resolve, for example, as regards transitioning towards less traditional sources of energy. What we lack is the access to technology, financing, and investment that will allow us to accelerate our strategy. I believe the challenge before us is to innovate on ways in which the transfer of useful technology and the building of climate smart infrastructure might be achieved under a global unity of effort. Excellencies, Typhoon Haiyan struck in November of 2013. It was, according to many, the strongest typhoon to ever make landfall in recorded history. Since then, this is the largest meeting of world leaders that have had the privilege of attending. That we are gathered here is a recognition of the stark reality we face as a collective. Climate change does not recognize national boundaries or political or economic affiliations. The choice before us, then, is clear. Together, we must face these challenges and surmount them, or together we will suffer the consequences of inaction. Let the first concrete commitment we make be a change in mindset, from one of over arguing over the division of work to one where we'll do the maximum that we can, always asking what more can we do. Thank you for your patience.